Hello, uh, YouTube, uh, this is Sam on Beyond of Sam's Airsoft Production Review. Today I'm doing a review on the German MP40. Um, I got this at the site below, link in this, the link's in the description, check it out. Um, got this for about $200. I ran into a few good problems. Um, when I pulled this out, if you guys can't notice, my and I was shooting it for a while and I sat down and I noticed there was a hairline crack on this gun stock so I had to rig up a piece of metal to cover that. But um, that's what happened. Um, the screws they gave me into this gun for this back piece to stay on was too loose so I had to wrap this thing with duct tape so it would you know it wouldn't wiggle and this part right here wouldn't be moving so freely um this is a full metal cat full metal gun and the clip is metal too the clip is a 50 round clip so it only holds 50 shots and the way you uh, load it up is you take your speed loader and fill her up. So yeah, it, it comes with a speed loader when you order this. Um, I do want to say it does come with it does come with the uh, folding stock. Press the button on the other side, fold it out like that. Yeah, uh, full size. It actually is full size to the real MP40. Um. The battery is at 8-point full, 300 MMA. Uh, the required time for this thing to charge is 11 hours, so that's the only downfall to it is. So if you want to play with this gun, you got to you know, at least pre-plan 11 hours before the game starts and charge this battery up. Um, mostly about this gun is, you know, it's not bad. Um, I was kind of upset about this whole thing breaking right at the back. I was thinking about sending it back, but you know, I said, fuck it. I can fix it. I didn't want to take another chance of it, another one breaking. Um, the way you take to put the battery in is, is there's a button right here at the below right here. Pull this, turn it just a little bit. This part comes off, which then reveals the uh, gearbox. Okay, so you just uh, slip your battery in there. I like to do it like this. Boom. Grab your piece right here. Then you just take your battery. Sure, stuck and boom. Your battery is now in your gun. Um, for the safety fire feature, uh, this is semi automatic. Semi. Uh, this is your safety. Is a little trick here. One way goes off, one way goes on. Um, I think I switched mine up on accident when I had to repair this, so it might be the opposite way for you. Uh, yeah. Uh, Other than that, uh, this right here just reveals your hop-up, and your hop-up is basically just forward for hop-up, backwards for hop-up. You know, you can, like, adjust it. I just kept it forwards because, like, you know in my other videos, I don't like hop-up. So, other than that, besides the gun breaking, you know, it's not a bad buy. If, I mean, you might get lucky and not end up like me. I don't know why mine broke. But, you know, I just said, fuck it, you know, keep it like it is, don't really care, you know, it's not bad, and I mean, the damage wasn't that bad, it just snapped in half, and I just replaced it and fixed it, so you might be lucky enough to, uh, not end up like me, you might not, I don't know, it just depends, um, I wouldn't, I'm not going to order from the company again if this happens, I found out what company made it, so if you know what company makes these guns, and you're a little leery. I mean, this is probably the first time you see an MP40 break. 
I don't know why mine broke, because, I mean, this is supposed to be metal, but, yeah, again, my uncle said it's probably that cheap, uh, nickel metal, so to speak. I don't know what that means, but still. So, um, when I do the firing test, I'm going to shoot one whole clip in full auto, shoot one whole clip in semi-auto, and let's see how it goes. Okay, uh, the camera may look like it's zoomed in, because it is. I'm actually pretty far from this. Uh, like I said before, this, uh, right now I'm loading my gun, but, uh, right now I'm getting ready to do a full clip on auto. And then, one clip in semi-auto. for this thing to take out a whole uh, whole clip in auto so yeah so here comes the semi auto my last I decided, uh, I decided since, um, you know, the camera is kind of shitty on its zoom, this is what auto looks like. That's automatic. Here's semi-automatic. Not bad, really nice how this one's kind of consistent compared to the automatic being a little screwy. But yeah, those are the targets I shot at, man. I mean, I ain't bad, you know pretty decent, you know, semi-automatic is obviously more, you know, prone to be more far-fetched than the automatic. The automatic, I mean, it's all over, while semi-automatic is like everywhere. Okay, so is the, is the MP40 a good gun? I want to say yes. Besides the downfall that my gun broke, and I fixed it up, I would suggest to any buyer that tries to buy this gun first, look for anything under two hundred dollars if you can buy something under uh, buy this exact gun for under two hundred dollars then yes it's a good buy i found a few i would share a few sites but i can't remember which ones i found that this gun was a lot cheaper and was the same type that the same site i just bought from yay uh... if you're worried about the uh... mag compatibility um, Really, you can buy for high cat, high in, high cat mags for this gun. Uh, I think it holds 150, so you get 100 more shots plus an original 50 for the high cat mag. Um, I like it. I did disagree with the whole thing of this thing breaking. Um, I did find the build to this, or some of the screws not right put in or not the right size, and so I sort of had to touch it up. You know, I'm willing to touch it up because, you know, I thought it was a nice gun. I'm a real big World War II weapons fan, 
and the MP40, the PPSH, the Thompson, and all of them World War II guns have been my favorites. So I took the time to touch it up. I might do some more touch up work. But uh, I get this gun, I'd say two and a half stars out of five. And that's only because of this thing breaking. But still, uh, it does really good. I like it. I'm really hoping someday I'll get to play with this in a game. So, um, other than that, yeah, really good gun. Um, join my Facebook group or like my page. The links are down below, description bar, you know how it goes. Um, enjoy. Oh, quick tip of the day. Wear safety glasses when airsofting. Duh. Doesn't take a genius to figure that out. But, other than that, have fun. Play some good airsoft and don't be a pussy about it. And have a nice day.